welcome back beautiful family today i want to share with you a very delicious and crispy ground beef taco that i know you guys are going to love but first things first my apron is on my hands are clean and i am ready to show you my ingredients these amazing and crispy ground beef fajita tacos these are the ingredients I have of course tortillas lean ground beef onion red and yellow bell peppers two jalapenos garlic cloves lemon pepper salt margarine cilantro in powder and this is everything we need so let's get started I want to start first with the spices and I have half a tablespoon of each spice. I'm going to add it here to my little bowl. I'm going to go ahead and mix it really good because this is what's really going to give that amazing flavor to the ground beef. Of course, I have my three garlic cloves that I'm going to dice really small, really tiny so that it really releases all the amazing flavor of the garlic into the ground beef look at this i love garlic and why not enjoy it and add it into this amazing ground beef fajita my pan is nice and hot i'm gonna go ahead and start adding the ground beef it's a actually extra lean ground beef and to this i am going to add a little bit of water making sure that instead of adding oils adding water so that it starts cooking in its own juices i am going to add the mixture of the seasoning right in here and of course i'm gonna add my diced garlic i'm gonna spread it around making sure that i cover every little piece of the ground beef i'm going to incorporate it always cook your ground beef in medium heat so that it really releases all those flavors and absorbs the delicious flavors and spices you added to it you could see that there's liquid on the bottom a couple minutes later it's all getting nice and bubbling and you could really see that it's already starting to cook there are little pieces they're still a little red but that's okay you want to cook it in medium heat when everything starts absorbing the liquid and you could see here that there's no more liquid on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and continue by rinsing my bell peppers and my jalapenos. This is a very important step. You wanna make sure always to rinse your veggies. Once this is done, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with the jalapenos. I'm gonna slice it through the center. I'm gonna help myself with the spoon and I'm gonna remove all the seeds and the little core from the inside. You want to make sure that you remove this so it's not too spicy. I love spicy food, but you want to re remove all the seeds. That's very important. You want to remove the seeds from the jalapenos and even from the small bell peppers. You want to go ahead and just take the seeds and the little um, stems from the inside out. And this is what really takes a longer time because by the time you are done with your peppers and slicing them and everything, the ground beef should already be already almost done, okay? So here I'm going to go ahead and just be slicing away. Like I said, this takes a little longer time. And here, let me show you, I have my bell peppers and my jalapenos and now I'm ready to slice my onion and I'm only using half of the onion I'm going to go ahead and slice it and then very carefully pull it apart just like that so that it really incorporates into the ground beef just like that I'm going to go ahead put it in this plate and now I want to show you all the beautiful colors look at this you could see the white onion, the green jalapenos, the bell peppers, yellow and red. 
of course by this time your ground beef is already releasing its own its oils and you can see right on the bottom look at this you can see the oil right on the bottom and that's exactly how you want to cook your ground beef you don't want to add extra oils just cook it in medium heat and it'll by itself release the oil it has and now when it's nice and getting really crispy just like that getting golden brown then that's when you are going to add the mixture of the bell peppers and the jalapenos you want to add them in here cook them only for five minutes i know that it looks like it's a lot of bell peppers and onion but once they start getting nice and soft and really cooking it's going to be much less believe me i really love the bell peppers in this authentic mexican fajita and now it's only going to cook for five minutes once this is done i'm going to go ahead put it aside and i am going to continue by getting my oil nice and hot this is completely done let's put it aside it looks amazing and those colors perfection and now the oil is really nice and hot i added just a little piece of tortilla it floats right on the top and i have my little gadget to make my crispy tortilla shells and of course you could find this little gadget at amazon and look at this the the tortilla gets really nice and crispy and the shell it's very easy to prepare look at this on the side i have a plate with some napkins so that when i take the little shells out of the oil the napkin will absorb the excessive oil look how easy this is of course you can make these shells and add any kind of any kind of filling the shell really is nice and open and you could really enjoy these crispy tacos it doesn't have to be tuesday taco tuesday to enjoy it, a taco you could enjoy it any day of the week i love baking tacos it's a very easy recipe you can enjoy it with your family you could just have the the shells ready to go and then just add any filling in there and they're they really come out really crispy and perfect you could add any kind of filling and today i am adding the ground beef fajita look at this nice and hot you could see all those peppers the colors amazing i'm ready to fill my my crispy shell taco and of course i am going to add some mexican queso fresco and of course sour cream this comes out amazing every time i can't wait to enjoy i'll see you in a bit I am completely done with these amazing crispy tacos. It doesn't have to be Tuesday to enjoy a amazing crispy taco. I just added some sour cream, some Mexican queso fresco right on the top, and you don't need to add anything else. Perfection made at home. I wish you guys were here to taste it with me. Excuse me. Mmm, mmm nice and crispy the bell peppers are are still al dente this taco is amazing mm. i hope my friends you make this amazing crispy taco ground beef fajita 
if you like and loved my recipe i invite you to subscribe leave me a thumbs up share this video on social media with your friends with your relatives so cooking with gloria keeps growing don't forget to push that notification bell and if you did leave it activated so every time i make an amazing recipe like i did today yes you're going to be notified before i say i see you soon i wish you nothing but the best peace and love i love you guys thank you for being here thank you for being part of my family i will stay enjoying this amazing crispy ground beta taco made at home with lots of love like subscribe and share see you soon Bye-bye.